I don't. I think that I've been in multiple <laughs> lesbian relationships, chill, and chill, chill I out. think you that it's shit like with this right here. Chill, chill the fuck out. <laughs> what are you talking about? You was a virgin when I met you. <laughs> don't do too much. Shut up, as okay. We're keeping it light today. It's Monday. We're tired, but we do want to make sure that we bring out some good stuff. So um, yesterday I did a show or I did an interview with Clearly Black, amazing podcast. It's going to come out soon. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, but when we were there, we had an opportunity to play a lesbian conversation by the givers. Yeah. Um, they're amazing. They're a great couple. They live in Southern California with us. And so <laughs> we have this game that we always want to play in our groups of friends. But we figured this is a good opportunity to play a little bit, have a nice light episode. Yeah. Answer some questions, start some conversation. And we haven't played it before. She did it on the interview, but I have not played this yet. Yeah. So and we played it for the show. So it was like, you know, and we kept it light on the question we didn't go crazy but the best thing about this thing is that it has a pride pack which are just questions for lesbians that are pretty just general to our community how is it coming out to your friends love right? that um and then we have the pleasure side <laughs> which is a little bit more pointed what makes lesbian sex more than foreplay Ooh. <laughs> mm-hmm. first off lesbian porn what do you like or hate about it I love these. <laughs> Shout out to Carrie Inglis. <laughs> Very good. Shout out Ladies. to y'all. Very good. I love it. I love it. James. Okay. So, so we're going to mix it up. We're going to mix it up. Not, that's not what that was. <laughs> what was that shimmy, shimmy, sh- shimmy We're shimmy, going oh. to mix them up. Oh. 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 <laughs> and we're going to start with pride or pleasure. Let's start with pleasure. Oh my God. Can I pay me a pleasure? Pleasure, oh. pleasure. I can't lose any of them. Let's also do half a deck because there's so many cards. Yeah, it's that's a good thing too. Yeah, like, to be there's such, a lot. Each, each such a good question. There's a lot oh, of cards. Let's be very. There's 169. Oh, big, stimulating topics. Big six nine. <laughs> stimulating topics. We love okay, that. we do. Okay. Oh, am I going for it? And this is the pleasure side. It's I'm nervous. Pleasure, pleasure. No. <laughs> Because I don't. I'll let you What? Answer. Okay. What type of vibrator do you like? It's fair for me to pass. It is fair for her to pass. I'll do that. She don't have toys like that. I do. Okay. And I love, I love, 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 love my yeah. vibrator. That's not what it's asking. It says, what type of vibrator do you like? Not, do you like a vibrator? I was about to get into that. Oh, okay. I was like, I was waiting on the brand. I was waiting on the... Let me just emphasize that I love my vibrator. And... I'm going to tell you guys what type of vibrator I have. <laughs> Shit, I should show you. I was going to say, is it the Dame? Did it come with that blue stuff? Dame. Dame. Is that what it's called? Mm, it's oh, called man. Air. Um, and then it's just like open in the tip. So it's like an air mm-hmm. vibrator. It's, it's just air. like, yeah, yes. it's pumping air, like sucking air. <laughs> it's pumping air, sucking air, that type of vibration. Um, it's really dope. And it does the job. It, it does, does the job. job. Let's so, pick another card. Okay. If it applies. Sure. Great okay. question. Giver or receiver? And I love that for us. Yeah. Yeah. Because both. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real switch over here. Um, it's real versatile. Yes. Over here. Mm-hmm. It's real give and take. Real share the pot. Real, um, mm-hmm. the only kind of princesses we have around here are belong in the passenger. No pillows, right? <laughs> My sweet passenger princess. <laughs> but yeah, no pillow princesses here, even though I lean towards it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. She, leans, she definitely leans. leans she definitely into lays <laughs> <laughs> more often than not. But I am a giver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have to be. Yeah. And I enjoy it. There you go. Okay. That's helpful. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I'm about to sit on the floor with you. <laughs> what else you got? Okay. Um, this is pride. Here, I'll let you pick one. Okay. You can do it like that. Okay. I'm not actually picking it. You're just picking the top. 
well, I shuffled it. Hmm. How can you tell if a woman is a lesbian? Great question. Right. This is why I like to play these games <laughs> in groups so that the so that the people can out themselves, you know? <laughs> I think what they're asking for is like the stereotypical things. Yeah. How can you tell if a woman is a lesbian? She wears flannel. Like, sure. is that the stereotypical she answer? Yeah. Right. She's a carry beater. She fucking... <laughs> I think it's all bullshit because obviously I, well, I don't identify as a lesbian, but um, I identify as queer. And of course, constantly, because I am feminine presenting, I have to come out constantly (laughs) Um, and nobody can tell that I'm queer. I think as a queer person in a queer space, sometimes there's like energy that you can feel. So I think that's real. Invalid, but I don't think you can just look at a woman and tell. Yeah, they're lesbian. Yeah, unless, unless it's been, unless it's been the, in the work. Yeah, the work, and then yeah. we're then we get into the masculine presenting women, and and the kids know when they see you, they know. Little Pride. Pride. I'm going. Okay, if you were to play a character from the L word, who would you play? I'm gonna take that out because we literally answered it in the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Since I can't get any of that. I mean, you can, but like, it's going to be in the podcast. For yeah. Sure. And we all Community answer question. it in full, multiple. <laughs> okay, so wait, but who were you? That, like, the fuck? <laughs> who do you think I was? <laughs> who the fuck? That, nigga. Do you think I Damn. was? Okay. And you know, all the other, okay, uh, all the uh, it was with three other mask presenting women, so it was like Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. Like, yeah, <laughs> real. Come up with something. <laughs> Tasha was my original. person. Tasha was my person. Tasha wasn't your person. Anybody who watched the L word and thinks that Tasha is their person, just know we were hungry for representation. Like Tasha was cute, but she literally her her role was trash. She barely spoke. She was this military person that was like I was still sexually attracted to her. Yeah, I'm saying she was cute, but like, what did you have her to compare to? Representation matters. <laughs> okay. Tasha was my person. <laughs> None, none of the bitches was my person. I don't even. I didn't even think Bet was fine until I was a, an adult. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, even yeah, watching yeah. the show, like nobody for was sure. My person. <laughs> I was just trying to get to Dinah. Okay. I still never had. Never. And we in Southern California. Okay. Now. We really don't have no reason. Do you believe there are roles in lesbian relationships? Ooh. No. I don't. I think that I've been in multiple. <laughs> lesbian relationships chill, and chill, chill I out. think you that it's shit like with this right here chill chill the fuck out what you talking about you was a virgin when I met you <laughs> don't do too much shut up SK okay tell me what you're jeez um it depends on the couple and I think I was just talking with a masculine presenting friend that says that she does not take out the trash. Or was that a real? No, he was listening to Queerly Black. <laughs> he was listening to a podcast. And I was listening to a podcast. <laughs> and actually said, shared. We actually know her. So yeah, it feels yeah, like yeah. Feels was like... telling you something. <laughs> it does. Don't hold it against her. It does. Um, but anyway, so Ashley was saying she's masculine presenting and her wife is feminine presenting. But her wife takes out the trash every Thursday. Like, that is what she does. Ashley does the dishes. And I think that's very similar with us. Like, there's no rules. I kill the bugs. I handle the bugs in this house. She sure does. And she drives that car. And I, <laughs> and I cook, drive that and car. I, and I cook and I clean this bitch. And she loves that. I do. She I kicks us out. It. She yeah. prefers it. It is her thing. So, um, yeah, it is not the heteronormative... It's not the heteronormative roles over here. No, no. I think it's hard to say that we don't have Hold roles, on. but I think what we don't have is traditional roles. Hi, baby boy. You already mixed it? I'm going to go from the middle. Who knows if she tried to set me up when I was gone. <laughs> How do you feel when your straight friends talk about sexual encounters with men? I'd love to know how you feel. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm easy. I feel bad for them. <laughs> That is how the fuck I feel. <laughs> and it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. 
So I went back to Virginia for homecoming and I was with my girlfriends. And one of the nights we're all sitting, having a round table, talking about sex. And so many of them were expressing their feelings on how they're lacking orgasms. Still. I'm still experiencing pain oh. in it. And I'm just like, and everybody goes around to share their story of how their sex life is. And it gets to me and I'm just like, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's phenomenal. <laughs> like, I don't relate. I can't relate. I, I relate because I have had it. But I mean, that was like sex in high school and during college. And so I don't know. I just related back to like not really knowing what I wanted or how to take control in the bedroom. But I feel like if I was having sex with a man today, that I don't know. I would make sure that I'm getting mine. And just for the fact that mm, their in encounters don't have that. Um, three, two of the four in relationships. So it was just like, and married, married, I should say. Two of the mm. four in marriages. Um, so that's just like, it's hard for me. It was, it's, yeah. How about you? Do you, do you have? Oh, oh. Like, <laughs> so I was just listening like, mm. <laughs> so devastating yeah it is it's just like a rite of passage for straight women at this point they i think that they just come to terms like unless especially when you're married to or dating cis het black men the ego, the ego be bigger than the, the, than the D sometimes. Geez. And not even bigger. Like when I'm saying bigger, I don't mean like size or girth. I mean like the power of it. Like yeah. your ego is way bigger than what you can even do. Yeah. And your expectation of me uh, blowing up your ego is, is more important. Like making sure that you feel like a real man or like me feeling like I got a real man. That's so important to me. And my job is to uplift black. I'd be like... <laughs> It'd be hard on me, y'all. It'd be hard. It'd be hard to hear. I'm just wondering why it wasn't green. Oh, maybe because it was never on. But I did turn them on before we put them on. Because mm, Noxie came over here. So now I'm confused. Mm. It's probably fine. I mean, like, we'll I'm see. picking up this. I'm kind of close. Hopefully it's not too big of an issue. Hopefully. You know, they say you talk too soft. They say I talk too soft? Yeah. And then when I'm with Soy, I'm screaming. So I don't know who y'all want me to be. That's the okay. excitement. She's all soft and tender with me. And then she gets with her homegirls and she's like fucking wild. I get wild with you too. <laughs> see, see what you trying to take it. Um, how do I feel when my straight friends talk about sexual encounters with men? Mm, Typically yeah. disgusted. Um, <laughs> disgusted. I am. And I've had sex with men. I want to be real clear because, you know, I know it's a whole bunch of niggas waiting on me to bash them or something so that they could come in and be like, back when I was blowing your bed, you weren't. <laughs> you were you never, weren't. You never were. And just like these grown adult women still lie to their husbands about feeling pleased, oh my same. God. Except I was younger and more scared to tell you how I feel. Um, Woman, claim your orgasm. Claim them. Because claim his them. feelings, like, somebody else will fuck y'all. Like, these men, you deserve these feelings are deserve. bigger than their what they can provide. Like you Yo. deserve more. Yeah, and anybody really that you tell like this, I a uh, way that you feel, and you're worried about how they're gonna respond. Like, come on, mm -hmm. we have really got to get into therapy so that we know like that's not how relationships work. The that amount work. of people who yeah. feel like, oh, I can't say that because I'm gonna hurt them. But you're currently hurt though. Yeah, you're currently hurting. You're the one uh, bone dry. You're the one with the debt. Okay, this nigga, mm, mm, mm. he getting it. <laughs> <laughs> he getting it. He doing the, uh, he crib walking, telling you to make tacos. Now you in there actually making tacos. That's extreme. With no orgasm. It's not even a baby boy scene because Ooh. at least Yvette was getting it. <laughs> <laughs> she was taking care of Jody, but she was she also being fed. It. Oh the my dick. God. Okay, we watched it. We all seen it happen. And we all seen it. But y'all in there making tacos, uh, orgasm list. That's weird. That's what do y'all work? What are you making tacos for? 